Good afternoon, everybody. Certainly a blessing and a privilege to be with you this afternoon. Uh, certainly a blessing to be on this station. Uh, God has blessed us to have a program that uh, we can come forth and we can speak to the nations of the world. And I thank uh, God for um, Dr. Garth and Tina Kuntz who um, had the vision to start this and to bring it forth and to see it to fruition. And many hearts and many minds are being blessed all over the world. And uh, I thank God for Ask the Pastor. We were just uh, there today, amen, had an opportunity to speak to people and allow them to see that uh, God is alive and that He's well and, and the, He wants everyone to be blessed. And I just want to bring a word to you today, and uh, it's going to come out of Matthew 6 and 33. And uh, so many times we're, we're worried, we're dealing with anxiety, and we're, we're living in a time when there's so many negative things that are happening around us, and, and God wants us to not lose sight of Him and to know that we can make it if we have a heart and a mind to look to Him, the author and the finisher of our faith. The Word of God is a lamp unto our feet, a light unto our pathway. It's a, it's a directive that we can have, I'm, and I'm going to tell you today, by the power of the Spirit, it will never leave you. It will never forsake you. It will always raise you up. It will always strengthen you, and you can always know that you got someone on your side. No matter where you go, he's going to be there to direct your steps. For the Word says, the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. And I thank God that as I read, he directs me. And in the, uh, uh, the book of Matthew, that I, the, the passage that I gave you, it says, Therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life what you shall eat or what you shall drink, nor yet for your body what you shall put on. Is not life more than raiment and the body uh, than raiment? Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into borns, yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? Which of you by taking thought can add one cubit to his stature? And why take ye thought for raiment? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They toil not, neither do they spin. And I yet say that Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. So if God can clothe the grass of the field, if God, which is going to be cast into the oven, how much more will he clothe us? Then he says, oh, ye of little faith. God is bringing us to a place, amen, that we'll see, hallelujah, that as we believe him and as we trust his word, praise God, he'll bring it forth in our lives. You know, so often people say, well, you know, I just don't think I have enough faith for that. But you know what? The Lord, hallelujah, he told us in Romans 12 that he gave us the measure of faith. In Galatians 5, he, he, he gave us the fruit of faith. Praise God. In uh, the book of uh, 1 Corinthians 12, he gave us the gift of faith. Let me tell you today, you have all the faith you need to get all the things that the Lord has for us. In fact, he told us if we have the faith of a grain of mustard seed, one of the smallest seeds there are, amen, we could say unto this mountain, be thou removed, cast into the sea, not doubt on our hearts, but believe that thing we ask for will come to pass. He said, we shall have whatsoever we say. So I'm here to tell you today, if we can believe the word, if we can trust the word, let me tell you something, you can have what God has for you. But then in uh, verse 33, he says, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Let me read that again. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Take therefore no thought for tomorrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. And sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. The Lord wants us to know all we got to do is believe his word and trust his word and know that we can walk this thing out day by day, hour by hour, amen, minute by minute, and no matter what fall befalls us or what comes our way, we have more than uh, uh, enough leverage to overcome that through the Word and by the Spirit. And you know what? I just thank God. Hallelujah. He said, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. I thank God that I'm free today, not because of what the president done, not because of what Lincoln done, not because of what any other man has done, but because of what Christ has done in my life. And now that these men weren't important. They were important. But I want you to know that you're important today. And God is looking down upon you. Amen. And he's looking for you to just reach your arms out for he says, look unto me. Come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden. He said, I will give you rest. He said, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. So know that God has a plan for your life. He's working it as you look toward him. Amen. And just give him praise and glory this day. Thank you very much. 